So we can find the area of a triangle on a coordinate grid fairly easily using a strategy here. This is a, a matrix method or a vector method, but we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you how it works, or sorry, what how to use it, but not necessarily how it works. And it's, the way we do this is we take this the coordinates. Okay, so I have this red triangle here, and you can see that it's got a width of eight, a uh, height of four, so the area should be sixteen. Okay, so the area is going to be 16. So I can use these coordinates to find out this area. Okay, and it works like this. I'm going to take these coordinates. I'm just going to list them out and I'm going to do them in clockwise fashion. So I'm going to go 1, 0, 3, 4, 9, 0. And I need an extra coordinate, so I'm just going to repeat the first one like that. Okay. And then what we do is we use this diagonal multiplication. We're just going to do 1 times 4, okay, 3 times 0, 9 times 0. We're just going to add those all up. Okay. And then the other way, we're just going to go 3 times 0, 9 times 4, and we get 1 times 0. And so to find out the area, basically just take this, the left-hand side and subtract the right-hand side. So we just go 36 minus 4 and divide by 2 and we get the area of 16. Okay, so this is, this is actually the area of the rectangle is 32 and then the, to find the area of the triangle, we're just going to divide by 2. Okay, so we can use this exact same strategy here. This is easy to see. We can see that we have base and height. Here we also have the base. Base in this case is going to be 8. Okay, the height looks like it's 7, so 56 divided by 2. So we're looking at an area of 28, it looks like. Okay, so just double check that. It's 8 by 7. Okay, and I'm just going to use that same strategy. I just list out my coordinates. Okay, and then repeat that last coordinate. And we use this diagonal multiplication, so it's going to be negative 9, negative 3, negative 28. Okay, then we use this diagonal here, so negative 9, negative 21. That's going to be positive 5. Okay. So we end up here. This is going to be negative 25. And we're going to minus. This is going to be negative 30, negative 40. Uh, is that right? Negative 25, negative 31, negative 40. So this could be positive 21 here. Okay, so we end up with uh, 26 minus 9. Sorry, 26 minus 9 is we're going to end up with 17 minus 40, negative 40. So that's going to be negative 16 minus 40. So we end up with 56 divided by 2 gives me the area of 28. Okay, so that's this strategy again finds area of a triangle when we have coordinates. So we can use the coordinates to do this. So, and it's basically just a shortcut. And these triangles aren't that hard to figure out, but a triangle like this is a little bit more complicated. So because we don't have, we, we would have to find the outside right chart. It's hard to find base and heights here. So this is where this one gets, it's quite useful because instead of having to find base and height or find rectangle or triangles, right triangles on the outside of that, and figuring out the area that way, we could just use this strategy. So we're going to line up, list out the coordinates in clockwise order.
Okay, so we use this cross diagonal, so negative 8. It's actually called a cross product, but negative 8, negative 5. Okay, so on this side here, we get negative 21. Okay, on this diagonal, we're going to end up with 20 uh, minus 4. Okay, and then we get plus 4. Okay, just so lift that up so we can see that a little bit easier. So I'm just going to bring it down a bit so we can see a little bit easier. So it's going to be uh, minus 4 plus 4. Okay, so it's going to be 20 minus negative 21 divided by 2. And the area is going to end up being uh, 41 over 2 or 20 point five units squared okay so there's this is an easier way to figure out the area of these triangles using this this cross product method